Hey guys, so the Doji S98 is the second device from Doji with a rear display. Doji has done for the second time what many other brands that make rugged smartphones has never done. Blackview, Humidity, Okitel, they've never released a rugged phone that has a rear display. So Doji, in my opinion, is probably ahead of them currently. Doji is just making lots of smartphones these days that look really nice. The S98 has a circle shaped red display as opposed to the V20 that has a rectangular shaped red display. With the red display, you could check the time, make phone calls and play music, which is kinda cool. The specs of the Doji S98 has been reviewed already and I'll be sharing them with you guys in this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. So let's head into it. So the Doji S98 is expected to be powered by the MediaTek Helio G96 chip. The phone is said to have 8 GB RAM and 256 GB storage, which could be expanded up to 512 GB using an SD card. The storage type is UFS 2.2. It ships with the latest Android 12 OS, and according to the details, the device would receive 3 years of security and Android version updates, which is very nice. The phone has a 6.3 inch IPS LCD display with a full HD plus resolution, the leaked images of the phone reveals that the phone has a world drop notch display. The phone has a triple camera setup, a 64 megapixel main camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 20 megapixel 9 vision camera. The world drop notch houses a 16 megapixel selfie camera. The phone is set to weigh 320 grams, it has a 6000 mAh battery with 33 watts fast charge support and 15 watts wireless charging. The device will be arriving in three colors champagne gold, chestnut red, and silver grey. The phone is also said to have a side-mounted fingerprint scanner. It would not have a 3.5mm headphone jack, which might be a huge con for many smartphone users. And just like many other rugged phones, the phone supports IP68 and IP69K. It supports NFC. Currently, the S98 is listed on AliExpress for $499. I think that is not the official price. I suggest that you wait for the device to be official before buying. I mean, the Doji V20 costs way less than this device, and the last time I checked, the Doji V20 is better than the Doji S98. You could get the Doji V20 for about 300 bucks on AliExpress and some other online stores. So I think that the S98 might cost about 250 to 270 dollars once it is officially released. So make sure to wait for Doji to make the device official first. I think the device will be officially launched in a few days. What do you think about the Doji S98? Make sure to share in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.